Greetings friends. Today I want to talk about the bike giant Talon 29-2. A high tide raises all ships. While flashy, expensive mountain bikes get most of the attention, trickle-down technology has substantially raised the quality of their entry-level siblings. With its lightweight aluminum frame, 100mm fork, 2x9 speed drivetrain and tubeless ready wheels, the giant Talon 29-2 is at once a great all-terrain commuter and fitness bike, as well as an ideal bike for riders looking to experiment with racing. The RockShox XC30 fork is a coil spring fork, so it doesn't buffer bumps in the same refined manner as an air spring fork. It's also noticeably heavier. However, it does a remarkable job on rocky, rough trails and doesn't leave you feeling like you're riding a pogo stick, as some coil spring forks can. It also doesn't feel like it weighs down the front end as I had no trouble clearing high obstacles. The preload adjustment lets you tweak the responsiveness of the fork a little to your weight and riding style, and a lockout switch on the crown is handy when you want a more efficient ride on smooth terrain. You won't find a 1x drivetrain on this bike, that's tough to find on any bike in this price range. A 2x9 speed Shimano drivetrain is a great balance between value and performance. The 2236 chainrings and the 11 36 cassette give you a wider range of gears than you'd get on a 1x drivetrain. The biggest gear is bigger, the smallest gear is smaller, and you have better options in between. Another cost-saving measure is the TRP hydraulic disc brake set. On the trail it was hard to notice a difference in stopping power between these and the Shimano brakes found on the Trek Marlin 7, a very similar but slightly more expensive bike. However, the modulation isn't quite as good. Another uncommon bonus is the tubeless ready rims. The Maxxis Icon tires, however, aren't tubeless compatible, so you'll have to buy your own tires, valves, and sealant to make that upgrade. If you intend on spending a lot of time on the trails, going tubeless will greatly improve handling and traction and prevent you from flatting. But it's not critical. This bike is a great mix of performance, value, and practicality. On paper you'll see it has the chops to be a hard-charging, aggressive XC bike. A steep 73.5 degree seat angle helps you keep power on the pedals and maintain traction on steep climbs. The 69-degree head angle doesn't count as slack in the modern sense of long, low, and slack mountain bike geometry, but is more relaxed than the Marlin 7. Internal cable routing gives the bike a very clean and sleek look, but it's one of the best bikes you'll find that can seamlessly transition between rugged commuter, weekend fitness bike, and entry-level racing bike. The tires are light and fast, great for dry trails and cinder paths while not slowing you down much on pavement. Rear rack mounts add to its appeal as a mixed-terrain commuter. On the trail, sharp steering and a lively response to pedaling put a smile on my face. I didn't take it easy on this bike, I pushed it through some of the roughest and rockiest trails we have around the bicycling office. The ride was harsh at times as I went full speed through rock gardens and over big routes. But the bike never faltered, despite being ridden hard through highly technical trails that most beginner riders wouldn't consider attempting. A light and lively feel belied its 29 pounds, the extra heft was hardly noticeable in the woods. The Talon 29-2 embodies the great developments that have been happening with low-cost bikes, although it can be easy to overlook a rather unassuming bike like this one. But it's one of the best bikes you'll find that can seamlessly transition between rugged commuter, weekend fitness bike, and entry-level racing bike. If the price is in your budget and you're feeling dirt curious, this bike is a great ticket to a lifetime of off-road adventures. Take heed though, these addictions have a way of growing. Fast.